Dance is a universal language art form performed in all cultures around the world. Cultures use dance for storytelling, to express feelings, celebrate events, and recount history, or for the pure joy and artistry of movement. In the Hindu tradition, God's creation of the universe is depicted as a dance. From the first sound which emanates from the mind of God comes rhythm and then movement, then dance. Namaste. My name is Raj Narayan, and I'm here with Shivani Thakkar, who will be demonstrating the basics of Bharatanatyam, one of the eight classical Indian dance forms. Classical Indian dance at its heart is a form of storytelling and dates back at least 2,200 years to the Natya Shastra, a book on theatre, music and dance that continues to guide the arts. It was performed in the temples as part of the worship of God and in the royal courts to entertain the king and his guests. Today, it is popular on stage, screen and television. Different as it may seem at first glance, India's classical dances have much in common with Western dance forms such as ballet. At first, ballet seems much different. In ballet, the dancer is attempting to float in the air, whereas Indian dance is more connected to the earth. These are basic ballet positions and we have basic positions in Bharatanatyam. Let's take a look at the similarities between the basic positions in Bharatanatyam and ballet. In addition to these basic positions, Bharatanatyam has an extensive vocabulary of hand gestures, including movement of the head, eyes, arms, and feet. At first, a gesture may seem simple, such as the flat hand. We all use that to say hello, goodbye, come here, stay away, stop. But think about it. The same flat hand gesture can be used as a way to say you're hungry, you're tired, you can block your eyes from the sun, write on paper, read a book, show prayer, even clouds gathering, waves, rivers, or a door closing. There are 28 single hand gestures in Bharatanatyam, just like there are 26 letters in the alphabet. Suchi, Chandrakala, Padmakoso, Sarpashishaka, Mrugashishaka, Sima Mukha, Kangolo, Sola Padma, Chatura, Brahmarahasta. The single hand gestures are like letters in dance storytelling. It's when we put them together that we can form words and sentences. Here are two hastas or hand gestures, Tripataka and Alapadma. By themselves, they don't have any meaning, but when we put them together, we can show the sun rising. This is just one example. The gestures are used in coordination with the arms, feet, torso, and head to portray the story's different characters, both the humans and the animals. Dance starts, of course, with rhythm and music. In Indian dance, the dancer's feet follow the drummer's rhythmic patterns. The rest of the body follows the singer and the other instruments. 
ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೂ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೂ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೂ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೂ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೂ The Indian dancer brings this large repertoire of skills and talents to their storytelling. Indian dance portrays religious stories, recounts ancient tales of valiant warrior princes, celebrates the harvest season, in the process entertaining and inspiring the people. And here's how you tell a story of going to the river. One day, early in the morning, when the sun was rising, a young maiden picked up her pot and walked down to the river bank. As she was filling her pot with water, she saw across the bank a little baby elephant. He came to get his morning drink and take a little shower. As she admired the elephant, she saw along the other side a beautiful peacock. She admired him. She then picked up her pot and came back home. Bharatanatyam isn't only a storytelling art form. Many dances showcase the artistry and technique of Bharatanatyam to showcase the pure joy of dancing without telling any particular story. In addition to Bharatanatyam, there are many more dance forms in India, both classical and folk. And that concludes our short presentation on Indian dance. Namaste.